Do I notice he's missing a leg? Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> there's a leg missing there. Yeah. Is that something happened since you've had him? Or... It is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, he got yeah, run over. It was a car accident. When he was 15 months. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when me, James and Dad were walking him outside the front of the house. It was a huge mistake and I'm just glad he survived. He still thinks he's got four legs. He will beg with his non-existent leg. Yeah, he does um, like a little shoulder shrug. Thinking especially like... when he's tired, he'll just do, he'll just do that. Is Dave the reason that you're here today? He looks miserable. Oh. Um, he shouldn't do. There's always someone around the house at home. So we just thought, actually, maybe it's because, you know, he needs a little friend. Do you want a friend, Dave? I worry that Dave's going to be so picky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably pass Gosh. 20, 30 dogs on a typical walk into town. Tenny will just walk straight, straight past. past. And it's really embarrassing, because they'll be like, oh, look, it's Dave. And Dave's like, Phew doesn't even look at them. Not bothered. We have to make excuses up for the <laughs> yeah. dog. Um, just, it's a bit tired. It's a bit tired, yeah. He had a, he had, he had a late night. <laughs> he, he doesn't like a pug. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't like, like a pug. Some reason. We love pugs. <laughs> um, weirdly, a big black lab, um, an alpha male lab, he will not like. OK. Um, yeah, I think there's that alpha thing going I think that's that bit of competition in. and... Yeah. yeah. I'm the top dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So not younger, not better looking. Right. Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he wasn't fussy. Let me just write that out. <laughs> Listen up. Come on. <laughs> Listen up. So what we'll need to do is have a look and see what dogs we've got. Bear with us. We won't Happy be too day. long. OK. Lovely. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. We'll see you Bye. soon. What's going on? Give him a hug. Hi. Good boy. Now, what about Luna? She's really, really nervous, but she gets a lot of confidence with other dogs. Very pretty and delicate. Loves other dogs. Very gentle. She's certainly got the looks. So she's come back from the foster home because the dog she was with oh, got went home, home didn't it? and she's really struggling without a friend. She needs a really well-rounded dog, and Dave is totally that. And I think her little playful Saluki side will hopefully bring him out of himself. So we've come up with Luna. Yeah. She is a Saluki cross. Basically a bit, a bit of a beautiful girlfriend for Dave. She was originally a stray. So how old is she? So she's only a year. She's baby, yeah? yeah. She's yeah. baby, yeah. Because she does love to play, um, but she also loves to cuddle. Aww. <laughs> she's a little bit worried um, of people initially, um, but having a dog by her side really, really helps her and improves that. If you're happy, we will take Dave with us and we'll look after Dave whilst you meet Luna. OK. If you like her, I will then bring Dave back down. OK. OK. Right. Like come, come with me. Thank you. Come with me. Luna. Oh, Bob, she's skewed. You know me. <laughs> Brave girl, well done. This is Luna. Luna is a Saluki. She is a super, super sensitive lady. Luna came into us as a stray. She was horrendously nervous. Um, no one could really get near her. Wasn't eating, was really, really skinny, just absolutely terrified of everything. And it took a really long time for her to kind of trust us and come around to us that we were able to figure out what she enjoys in life, which mainly is dogs. <laughs> She absolutely loves dogs. Oh, different dog now. Oh, Luna! <laughs> oh, she can dance. Huh? She loves him. He does well, doesn't he, all three yeah. legs? I still remember it very, very well. It was the last day of school, so we're all full of the joys because it's the summer holidays and everyone just wants to get down the river and we're all full of it and, yeah. Um, um, yeah, you should have been on a lead. Simple as that. Go on, James, lead the way. Go on, Jamie. Wow. Oh, OK. <gasps> we were stood waiting by the side of the road. One of the boys went to go. And I said, there's a car coming, pulled back. But Dave went. He was hit at 35 miles an hour. The front leg was really badly damaged. He was squealing and really, really and clearly a lot of distress. I was in tears. I felt really, really guilty. 
I am incredibly grateful that we've still got him. I wonder how Dave is. Fine, he's got treats. He's got treats. And he's... I wonder if he's crying. He won't be. I think it's just that he's a little bit miserable. I think he yeah. needs a friend to put a spring back in his step. It's me. Good girl. Here we go. Come on, bub. Ready? Come on, bub. Let's go. Yeah, good girl. Look at pink lead. Oh, oh, my guys. So she's very, very nervous. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you're happy, would you mind spreading out a little bit? Yeah. And then all sitting on the floor? Um, just yeah, ignore no her problem. for now. She's going to be pretty nervous. She'll probably avoid you a little bit. Just going to give her that kind of space. She's yeah. probably going to be a bit slow, head ducked, because um, she's a bit worried. She's like, right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave. You'll be good. You'll stay here, Luna. Luna. You stay here. There you go. Luna, what's this? She's hey. pretty cute. She's, She's really cute. cute. And I never I don't think I've ever seen that breed, have you? No. Luna. She's like, how do I get out of it? No. Oh, she's really frightened. <laughs> oh, she's really shaking. Oh, Luna. There you go. Hello, Just darling. Do. She so wants to. Hello. I think maybe if it was just one of them or two of them. She might be a bit braver. She could choose to run away, and she's not. You come in. Hello. Oh. Really, she needs Dave down there to to come out of herself. Come on. For a nervous dog, meeting anyone new in any circumstance is really, really difficult. It's very tricky. You really feel for them. It's your moment to shine, Dave. Go on. Dave the Labrador is on a quest to find his soulmate. I honestly do think that if we, if we get this right, it's just like another little lease of life, isn't it? But Luna, his date, is still rather nervous. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, I know you want to say hi to my dad oh. first. Say hello. Say hi to us first. Luna. Should go see Luna? Go on, see Luna. Come here. Who's that? Davey. Oh, I know. who's that, Dave? Say hello. Lovely. Lovely. Boy. That's oh. really nice. Tail wag. She oh. really likes him. Look at her tail. Oh, guys. oh, oh Dave, who's that? that? So that's ha happy tail. That's lovely. Happy tail. <laughs> he can obviously Stop sense that she is a little bit worried. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's really good social skills from him. He's sort of giving her some space, letting her um, have a moment. And look, she stopped shaking. Better. Dave, who's this? Who's Come that? here. Good boy. Dave gave her that, that space that she needed, which was just really lovely to see. Look at that. Amazing. They're chilling That's together, so at least. That, that is, is so nice. Very good. She's mirrored him. She uh, has, She's yeah. gone, OK, She's I'll just... do what you do. I'll take away my leg as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her. She wanted that love. You can see she wants that affection. She's just not 100% sure. Oh, look. No. Oh, oh, no. So you took your hand off her then, and she instantly yeah. went back to you for more, yeah. which is... Such a lovely I think you've got a friend. Who is, that? <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Bless her. She's so sweet. Are you a good girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we even thought about having a, ner a nervous dog, and I think one of the reasons being um, is that we live in such a busy household. So that, I think we were a bit, ooh, how is she going to be? It's just seeing how she fits into your life, really, and being realistic about, uh, about how it's all going to work. So there's things to think about there. You've been a brave girl. When you start looking at all the components, you start looking at Dave, you start looking at our children. It's got to tick all of those boxes, and unfortunately for us, she just didn't. So we decided to fly out to Cyprus. Yeah, my sister has a friend over there who worked at another dog sanctuary. So we went and met another Luna. Yes. Would you like to meet her? Luna! Come on up. up. This is the Luna from Cyprus. Dave absolutely loves her. Dave and Luna's relationship is really sweet. He just loved her instantly. Yeah. And they just play lovely. It's like a big brother. Come on, then. Okay. It was really Laura that always wanted the, the, the rescue dog. Uh, come here. And in the meantime, I'd sort of promised Georgie, it was her 18th coming up, that if her Isla, Dave's sister, ever had pups, literally within a month of getting Luna, she had pups. So, having made a promise, uh, couldn't go back on it. Uh, so, uh, would you like to meet 
Uh, Nelly. Yeah. Goes this. Goes this. <laughs> so now we've got three jugs. Right, sit down for me. I find it hard to remember what it was like having just Dave. Come here. It's just like much happier. So much happier. He's just got so much more energy. Actually got a dog to play with now. You can definitely see a big difference.